Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wine glass in 3D. Okay, so I have my, my canvas size as 1500 by 1500. My resolution is 72 and I'm working on a white background. So I'm just going to create that. And what we want to do, we've got our background here. We want to create a new layer. So we're working, we aren't working on the background layer itself. You want to go to the pen tool by pushing P or going here on the, the toolbar. And we just want to draw out our rough um, wine glass, whether you wanted a wine glass or a champagne glass, that's entirely your choice. I'm just going to create a different, um, different kind of shape really. So we just have it like that down to there. I'm going to hold down shift to make a, a straight stem. I'm going to make a mistake just so I can show you how to correct it once we've made it. I'll tell you the mistake afterwards. Okay, and do you want to draw the inside of the glass as well because the glass does have a, a circumference, I mean a circumference, a thickness. Okay, you don't want it to be too thick, or it depends how thick you want your glass. Um, I think that looks okay like that. And there we go. So I'm just going to draw it like that. So once you've got your drawing of your glass, um, you want to go to your 3D window uh, panel. Just a, I've got mine over here. If you don't see yours, go up to Window and 3D. And I'm going to... Yours will probably start off on selected layers. Um, you don't want to have any of that. You want to go to work path and then 3D extrusion and then click create. Okay, it's just busy doing its thing. There we go. Okay, so that is the beginning of our wine glass. So what it's done now, let's go to properties. It's created um, an extrusion from our work path and we don't want the extrusion so you just want to go down to over here you'll see extrusion depth two three three nine eight yours might be a bit different than that take that down to zero and you want to go to the other properties menu your deform you can also do the extrusion depth here um i just did it on the other the other panel because it was there and you want to go to horizontal angle and move that up to 360 degrees. There we go. So you can see here um, it's gone all deformed. That's because your deform axis is still set to the center. And you want to change that. Just click on the right center there. And there we go. So we've got our wine glass it's starting to take a good shape. And as you can see, I said I'd make a, um, make a bit of a mistake. You see how big the base is there? We don't want that. Um, it looks really silly. So go back to your um, your menu just over here, your mesh menu, and click Edit Source. Here we go. I'm just going to unanchor that there and change the size. There we go. Okay. So now we've got oops, we've got our original work path that we created a moment ago and our wine glass. So what you want to do is I'm just going to come over here. Oops, I don't want to do that. I'll just select the direct selection tool over here and you want to just select. Oops, I don't know what I've done there. Sorry about that. It's popping all things up here. Um, let's escape. So you want to select just the corners, um, so it's selecting those corner anchors. I'm going to hold down shift so it can keep its proportions and just drag that in just up to about there. And then that, you see that hasn't changed at all, um, but I've changed it on the actual source itself. So you want to save that, control S. And there we go, that's changed it. I've probably made that a little bit too small now. So I'm just going to increase the size, increase the size just a little bit more. Control S. There we go. So it's starting to look good. It's probably a little bit tall as well. Let's let's see if we can change that. Um, 
just going to select those as well hold down shift and bring it up a little bit and hit Control s to save it there we go okay i'm going to close that now and select your move tool to bring up your your 3d panels over here you want to on your mesh tool you want to click move to ground so it will make it flat on the ground for yourself and i'm just going to move it about just so i can come over here so now to change it into a glass um, you want to select all um, all the layers um, the materials and click on the the, um, the texture texture ball and you go moving down you've got all the different glass textures over here I'm going to choose just a smooth glass okay now reflection we've got reflection oh, I want to go down to refraction um, whatever's behind the glass will be refracted so it will kind of bend with the glass you know how you look through a glass and you can see how things change that that's pretty much what the refraction is so I'm going to turn it up um, yeah 1.7 that's about okay let me turn it up actually 1.8 okay so I'm going to keep that like that now what I want to do, I'm just going to create something behind it so you can see um, see how the refraction works. So I'm just going to do a letter quickly. Um, I'm just going to change the color to... Yeah, that's fine. I have to increase the size quite a bit. And what letter should we have? Let's have the letter P. Okay. Let's change the font to yep, area rounded, and I'm going to increase the size quite a bit, um, just so we can see. So I can pretty much show you how it's how it's doing its thing. Okay, and I'm going to move it just to there, and you can see here it's below that layer already. I'm just going to convert it to. 3D. So I right clicked on the layer, new extrusion. Okay. And now what I want to do, I'm just going to pan this a little bit so I can see. Okay. So that should be working correctly. So you can just see the glass here. You can select it. Um, um, first, I am going to select that layer and select that layer by holding down control i'm going to right click i'm not going to right click i'm going to go up to 3d up here excuse me and merge 3d layers there we go so now if we move one we can move the other one um yeah that's how it works okay i'm just going to pull those up so the p is on the ground let's move to the ground and layer one which is our glass we want to move to the ground okay now we can see already that the P is a lot smaller than the glass so I'm going to move it up I'm just going to go over there click on it and we can move it up to there okay and what I'm going to do Dolly the 3D camera, let's zoom out and we want to move in a little bit actually, just moving in okay, so that's done what I'm going to do, I'm going to just render this little part over here for now so you can see how it does its thing, so I've got the marquee tool selected and I'm going to just select that area over there and I am going to hit the render button. It's going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause for now. Um, actually, I'm going to stop that. I'm just going to hit the escape key. Because to this, it looks like the P is in front of the layer of the glass. So I want to move that behind the glass. Let's just double check if it is. 
So I'm going to move it on the x, uh, yep, the x, z axis, sorry. I'm going to control D to deselect. I'm going to click the P and I'm going to move it back. Okay, and now let's go up to view and show and 3D second view and I want to view it from the top. There we go. Okay, so we can see there the P is behind. Let's move it forwards to about there. Okay, I'm going to close that and I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to select my marquee tool and just select around there. So it's only going to render that part um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's done. Okay, so I haven't um, rendered it fully. Um, my computer's ancient. It wanted to take two hours just to do that part. Glass takes extremely long to render. Um, there's just a little tip for you. So if you're practicing don't render the whole thing um, and if you want to practice other renders I would suggest using different textures okay so I'm just going to hit Control and D to deselect that you can see here where it's rendered uh, it's kind of warped it a bit a um, bit of a reflection there in the, the stem of the glass yeah so that's how, how that works um, you know now how to create a glass in 3D. Okay, so you've learned how to do the refractions um, and how to render it and all of that stuff. There are more advanced things to do. I won't go into that now. Okay, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. I have many more to come. Thank you.